name is Mike Yasa. I'm a professor of psychology and neuroscience. I have been a coffee drinker for quite some time. I'm one of those people that feels like they can't function without their coffee, and I've always been curious about the kind of effect that it can have on my memory and on my cognition. Before they got the caffeine, we showed them pictures of everyday objects. It could be a picture of a rubber duck or an office chair. Once they got the caffeine, they came back 24 hours later and we tested them. And we found that those who were administered caffeine actually had better retention of the information that we taught them the day before. The caffeine enhanced their ability to say this item was similar, but not identical to the one I've seen before. Memory consolidation is the process of taking memories and strengthening them and making them more permanent. All of the past studies have always administered caffeine before somebody would study, for example, material or something like that. So it's not clear whether it's enhancing their focus, their attention, their vigilance, or enhancing their memory for the material they study. To actually give caffeine after the study phase is something that has never been done in uh, human studies before. You really exclude all of the other effects that are non-memory. It really becomes about memory more than anything else. One suggestion we have in this study is that there's an optimal dose uh, to be able to get this enhancement, and it's around 200 milligrams. Uh, above that dose, people start to report some unfortunate side effects uh, like headaches and, and nausea and so on. And below that, you really don't get the benefit. We're now very interested in the brain mechanisms behind this phenomenon. So this was really a behavioral study, and now the question is, how does it happen? How does it work? How can we enhance it even more?